Hi, this is Brad Argent from Ancestry. Today I want to talk about how you use DNA to do family history. All family history begins with a question, right? And that question could be, who am I? Where have I come from? Who were my grandparents? Who were my great-grandparents? It's all about answering questions. Or, if you like, it's about solving mysteries. And so DNA can be really helpful for solving those mysteries in two ways. So either it can solve a question you've always been asking, or potentially you could be the answer to somebody else's question. So Mary, you've used Ancestry, and you've used Ancestry DNA. You are actually able to answer somebody else's question, weren't you? Yeah, that's right. We were able, went through the DNA test, to confirm that two very distant branches of the family were connected. So how did that play out? So, we always knew where my family were from, this little town in, in Romania called Piatra Niamt, which is in the Carpathian Mountains, but it's very difficult to get actual records from that country. They're still actually held in the archives over there. I connected with this guy called Keith um, many years ago, but we couldn't work out how we were connected until I did the DNA test. Very soon after getting the results, um, I got a message from him saying, we are actually a match, actually confirming what we suspected but couldn't prove all those years ago, that this was one Silverman family on Piatra Niamt. What I didn't know is that he'd done a lot of research himself and he had all these records in his possession um, and he'd not been able to work out who all the Silvermans were, so he sent me all the research. But there were a few names that, that came up that he didn't know who they were and one of them was my grandfather. And then we spent a long time, him and me and my dad, trying to work out how exactly we connected. And he had this history of the town and where the Jews came from and where they may have gone to. All in there, he got all that research down. Before that, even with the records, I couldn't be sure that we were actually connected. It was only with that DNA match that we could say, yes, we're definitely of the same family. It felt like finally two branches were coming back together. So, Mike, you've... Been a, you're a bit of a hardcore family historian, right? You've been doing family history for ages. But you've taken a DNA test, and that DNA test has, you know, oddly led you on to more family history rather than just the DNA connections. Can you tell us a little bit about that? So yeah, there's one particular branch of my family that has always been problematic, and it's my great-great-grandmother, she's a Gallagher, and where I'm from in Donegal, they're like a Smith or a Jones, it's a hard name to track down. So what I did with DNA, and I had this kind of in mind when I was doing it, is I got my cousin Martin from Birmingham, second cousin. So he comes from the same family, and we both did the DNA test. And we figured if, they, if somebody matches Martin, somebody matches me, then they're probably a cousin on that particular branch of the family. So we did the test, and the results came back quite good. We had about, at the time, 10 common cousins. So we sent off messages to all of them, and we had a couple of replies back and one of them in particular was kind of interesting because I had actually seen on the paper trail the same service, same username and I'd, I'd just been planning and, and contacting them and they had information. In fact, they had this particular letter which was the family history of that branch which was passed down. This particular letter was written in 1960 and it's been in a drawer sitting in California for 20, 30 years and it had right in the middle of their family history was this Gallagher family who was the pedigree, who was the parents, grandparents and so on. So it matched the paper evidence, so we had a new piece of evidence. So we had DNA evidence, we had a paper trail and we had a new piece of paper. So they all added up and that's what kind of unlocked the mystery. Yeah. So you used like fairly standard research protocol and you triangulated your research and so you had two bits of DNA and they ultimately pointed this piece of history out to you. Yeah, and, and that's what you're really looking for. You're looking for separate pieces of evidence that all tell the same story. So we had DNA evidence, we also had tree evidence, and we had this letter, and we had some paper evidence from some of the records at the time. But all of them point in the same direction, and they all build up the same picture. On their own, you would say they're a maybe. But if you put them all together, it's a much stronger story, much better evidence. So you not only get an answer to your question, you also become the answer to somebody else's question. And that's how DNA can really power and drive some of those answers to those long outstanding questions you might have had about your family history.